Hello you guys, I have made it to Port Orleans French Quarter. I am here for the next two nights on a solo Disney trip. I am so excited to be here. I'm typically here with my four and a half year old. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I should be pushing a stroller right now. <laughs> like. I am forgetting something I have to be, but this is a really weird feeling. I'm currently waiting on my room to be ready. It's about 1230 and I already know that I'm in building one, which I'm so excited about. It's one of the new renovated buildings. I cannot wait to show you the new renovated rooms. They look absolutely beautiful. My plan while I wait is to one, check out this resort. I've never stayed here before. This is my first time ever staying at French Quarter and I've heard incredible things about it. I can't wait to see what all the hype is about. And then I think I'm gonna head over to Disney Springs. Again, depending on the timing of when my room is ready, We'll see how that plays out. They said it was almost ready, but I'm absolutely starving. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk around here for a little bit and then hop on the boat to Disney Springs. And if you are new to the channel, hi, my name is Becca. I share a lot of Disney content, a lot of Disney vlogs with some home vlogs sprinkled in there. I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for my 48 hour solo Disney trip. I went ahead and walked over to building one just so I know where my building is going to be. <laughs> I don't have my room number yet, but I know this is the side of the resort that I'm gonna be on. And the first thing I'm already so in love with is how quaint this resort feels. I mean, the iron rod fences, the cobblestone like streets with the, even like the drains right here, like you feel like you're walking on a street with the street signs. Everything is just so beautiful here. Already, anytime I see a playground, I automatically wish my daughter was here. <laughs> she would love this so much. Time to head over to Disney Springs for some lunch. Well, the timing of that could not have been more perfect, as you saw. As soon as I got on the boat, it was like a torrential downpour, like sideways rain. I was like <laughs> this the whole way. And then five minutes before we dock, the rain stopped and the sun comes out. <laughs> so perfect. I feel torn on where I wanna go for lunch. I love Polite Pig and Wine Bar George. Those are my two go-to places here at Disney Springs, or do I try something new? I feel torn. I'm leaning towards Polite Pig, but oh, I kinda wanna go to Wine Bar George. I don't know, I'm just gonna head that direction and see where I end up. Okay, so I ended up trying something new completely, and I went to Frontera Cocina for the very first time. I've never really heard anyone say much about that restaurant before, so I was like, you know what? Let's give it a try. I ordered the chips and salsa, the cochinita, which is a pulled pork with black beans and their house-made tortillas. And y'all, I was so impressed. This restaurant was so good. This was not mediocre Mexican food. This was top-notch, handmade, from scratch. <laughs> it was so good. Of course it started raining again while I was in there and it slowed down enough to where I was like, okay, I think I can walk around with an umbrella. And I think I'm gonna go walk around Zara because I love looking at <laughs> Disney clothes for my daughter. They have really cute mini Mickey clothes that aren't tacky, I don't know. Some of the Disney stuff like that you'll find in Shop Disney, I, it's just not my style <laughs> for my daughter. And so going to Zara, I can usually find something really cute. They may or may not have anything, I don't know. And then I figured, I think I need a Gideon's cookie. So we'll head that way after Zara. Disney 
clothes here and I just don't see anything apart from those jeans and the denim jacket. That's pretty much it. I saw a couple of little bluey things, but I don't know, everything else is so stinking adorable. <laughs> but when it comes to like Disney things, not really finding much. I'm gonna walk over to Gideon's Bakehouse now and get a cookie. I'm so stuffed. The idea of a cookie right now just sounds like awful actually, but I know it'll sound good later. So I'm gonna get it for later. Change of plans. <laughs> uh, no thanks. I don't know why I thought like, oh, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> the line will be short. <laughs> That's a nighttime thing. Like people get cookies, you know, around dinner time. No, <laughs> that's definitely a, I would say minimum 45 minute to an hour wait. And I'm walking through a giant puddle right now. But yeah, minimum 45 minute wait. And that is not <laughs> what I'm wanting to do right now. So I think I'm gonna head back to the boat. I got a text that my room is ready. So I might do a quick walk through of World of Disney and then head back to French Quarter. about 2.30. I'm headed back to the boat to head over to French Quarter now. I'm really excited to see my room, you guys. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> The timing of the rain on both boat rides now have worked out amazing. <laughs> it poured on the boat ride over there and then it poured on the boat ride back and then right as we were pulling up, the rain stops and the sun comes out. <laughs> I mean, it's so perfect. So I am headed over to building one. I'm room 1208. So I'm on the second floor. I need to find my room and then I'm gonna call Bell Services to bring my bag over. I'm gonna film a room tour. And I'm like, I just feel so giddy to get into this room. I <laughs> like, I don't know why. Maybe because Disney has been very like, hush hush about this renovation for whatever reason. I just don't feel like many people know about it or I don't know, it just hasn't been talked about. I had no idea that these rooms were getting totally remodeled and not a soft goods refurb, like total renovation. I think that's why I feel extra excited. <laughs> I'm gonna head up to the second floor and scout out my room. Twelve oh eight, right here. All right. Oh my word! This is beautiful. Let me turn some lights on. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna do a full room tour, but oh, this is so so gorgeous. We've got a parking lot view, which is no big deal. This is a standard view room category and I have no problem facing the parking lot because I'm a two minute walk down to the water if I want to go sit and enjoy the scenery. But y'all, the bathroom, they did such a good job with this. Okay, I'm gonna have the full room tour linked down below, but I just had to give a quick peek Room tour is filmed. I freshened up, chilled in the room for a little bit. It's about 4.30 now. And I think I decided to head over to Animal Kingdom. I don't know if that's random, but I don't know. It just sounded like the park I wanted to go to tonight. It's open till seven. And normally through the summer months, I feel like Animal Kingdom has been closing at like six. So it's just not the park that I go to in the evenings. And I figured, ooh, if I could stay until nighttime, I just rarely get to see Animal Kingdom in the evening and I wanna go to Epcot tomorrow night. So I think I'm gonna do Animal Kingdom. I'm gonna head back to the main building, walk down to the bus stop, check that out and go to Animal Kingdom because why not?
made it to Animal Kingdom. It's five o'clock or a little after five o'clock and I'm already starving. I feel like I had a pretty late lunch and ate a ton, but I'm already hungry again. So I think I'm gonna go grab some dinner and uh, okay, this is crazy, but I have never eaten at Flame Tree Barbecue. I don't know how that's even possible. I think because every time I'm here, I go to Nomad Lounge. Like, that is my go-to, or that or Satuli Canteen. Never Flame Tree Barbecue, which is like a really popular quick service here. And I looked at the menu on the bus ride over and their chicken salad looks incredible. I think I'm gonna go try it. So I'm gonna head that way. If you're a Disney pro, you know to cut through the gift shops to avoid the heat at all costs. <laughs> Why has no one told me that behind Flame Tree Barbecue there is endless seating and no one is back here? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Like, am I missing something? Why am I the only one here? And it's 5.30, it's dinner time. Like, this just isn't making sense. So I've just been camping out here, enjoying the views, eating my chicken salad or my pulled pork salad and uh, like what in the world uh, and it just wraps all the way around like I mean you can go up these stairs and there's all kinds of covered seating over there there's two more covered pavilions straight ahead there's this covered pavilion right here that I walked through and there was no one there okay I see one person there now but I'm a little blown away and then you have more seating over here you have this gorgeous waterfall with the birds and uh, like why is no one here now you know this is where to come even if you pack a lunch for your kids this would be such a great spot like i will definitely be bringing ellie here when i pack her a lunch this is such a nice escape from the crowds. Oh, this is really nice. Next on my Animal Kingdom agenda is to ride Expedition Everest. I'm gonna join the single rider line. This is a ride that I can't remember the last time that I have ridden this because I'm always here alone with my four and a half year old and she's not tall enough, nor would she ever want to ride this, even if she was. So I'm gonna jump in the single rider line. Apparently it's been so long since I've ridden that ride to where I guess I get nauseous on roller coasters now. And I always used to make fun of my parents when they were in their 30s as a kid, you know, and I was like, why don't you want to go on the roller coaster? And my parents would be like, oh, like the older you get, you just, oh, I can't, I can't. And I never understood that until now. 31. I'm like, hmm, is it an age thing? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. Like, can you do roller coasters still? Are you, if you're in your 30s, 40s, like, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> is that a 30s kind of thing? I don't know if I'll be doing that one again anytime soon, but I'm glad I gave it a try. I was hoping to stay until it got kind of dark. It's about 6.15 and I'm just so tired. I don't think I can stay for another hour because I would have to stay after park close and I'm just way too tired. I'm gonna head back to French Quarter, take the bus back. I would love to stop and get some beignets to take back to my room. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then take a shower, watch a movie. It just sounds like a dream. I'm back at French Quarter. I stopped at Sasagula Float Works with the intention of getting the beignets. But then I see everyone else with the beignets and they're like giant powdery sugar. I mean, it looks so good, but I just looked at it and I was like, I don't think I can eat that right now. I don't know. My stomach is not <laughs> right right now. <laughs> and I don't know if it was that salad that I had from Flame Tree Barbecue, but I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling 100%. So I got some sliced apples. <laughs> that is the only thing that sounded good. And that's usually what I gravitate towards when uh, my stomach just feels off. I just want fruit. And I refilled my water bottle. I don't know, I feel so lame. <laughs> 
skipping out on the beignets to go with sliced apples. Like, who does that? Hopefully tomorrow I can kind of have a reset and feel up to trying the beignets. Today has been a very long day and it is very hot and humid out. I've been drinking as much water as I can but I feel like the, the heat and humidity, it just, it takes it out of you. I'm headed back to the room. I'm gonna eat my <laughs> sliced apples, have an early night in, take a shower, watch a movie. I don't have to put anyone to bed. I don't have to help anyone else take a bath. <laughs> anyone else, as in just my daughter. <laughs> and this is gonna be so lovely, having an evening to myself. I can watch what I wanna watch. I don't have to watch Disney Junior. This is gonna be amazing. I hate how loud this AC unit is behind me. I'm like, why is it so loud? But it's 7.15, I am going to eat my apples. <laughs> I still can't believe I'm here by myself. It still feels a little bit weird, and tomorrow will probably feel weird too. <laughs> the weirdest part is not pushing a stroller and catering my day towards a four and a half year old and having to think through like, okay, does she have to go potty? Does she need more water? Everything that goes into coming to Disney with kids, like I don't have to think about that right now, which is really amazing, but also kind of weird. I don't know, I have very mixed emotions about it, but I'm very excited for tomorrow. I feel like tomorrow is gonna be the true solo Disney day where I can wake up feeling rested. I plan on sleeping in. Who knows what that'll look like? It'll probably still end up being like 6 a.m. because that's what I'm so used to. But I'm gonna try to sleep in and just have an easy morning and head to Magic Kingdom in the morning. And I'm thinking because I did Animal Kingdom this evening, I probably won't go back to Animal Kingdom tomorrow. And I'll try to just do Magic Kingdom, maybe pop into Hollywood and Epcot. That's my goal. We'll try to do all three of those parks tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed to catch my full solo Disney day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. All right, just kidding. <laughs> You've made it to the secret beignet portion of the video where it's eight o'clock and I was starting to feel a little bit better and a little bit hungrier. So <laughs> after all that, I went back and got the beignets with the strawberry sauce. So we are going to try this out. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that. Like, okay. <sighs> okay, I'm just, I'm gonna do it without the strawberry sauce. Okay, this is piping hot. That is unfreaking believable. Why am I just now having this for the first time? I see why people come here just for the beignets. Okay, my fingers are kind of burning <laughs> right now, but it's worth it. All right, we're going in with the sauce now. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. This is literally heaven. If you got to witness my very first Mickey beignet, leave a little donut emoji <laughs> down below in the comments. I'm curious who stuck around for the very end, the best part of the video. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all three of these. Good night for real. <laughs> I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.